know, I'm, I'm just doing this. Just... Yeah, just give me a minute. Oh, come. Oh, hello. I'm just reading a book. Amazing cooking adventures. Amazing adventures. Hello explorers, this morning I'm going exploring. Not done a video for a bit, so I thought I'd do a video. Nothing tremendously exciting's going on, but I've got coal on my nose. Anyway, I bought this. Obsessing over it, it's Escoffier's cookbook. Escoffier was a man that invented cooking and stuff, and he was the main man. He invented all the mother sauces and things like this. But this is crammed full of the core of cookery that you're meant to be into. But the foundation blocks of life itself. So today I thought I would make 1169 Pudding de Biftex et de Rougnon. Second kidney pudding. Um, what do you like about this guy is, oh you're up there now, is that they are, it's just written like a story. There's no ingredients or timings here. It just says steak and kidney pudding makes steak and kidney pudding well no. It assumes you have some brain in there. I've got this on a tripod. It can go so far away now. Hang on, just a minute. I need to find the recipes that he's using for the pastry. Half a bowl of suet. Half a bowl of flour. Salt. I'm gonna zoom in, then you can't see the state of my cooker top. Now the blues are calling. Semi success, semi success. Can okay, this quite. Next, this manky shit casserole steak. The more of this fatty stuff here, the better. Then this can all melt down into gloriousnessness. Season with salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Salt. Quite a lot. Load of pepper. Okay, this needs mixing with an unknown quantity of onion. Right, that's about half a big onion. Parsley. How much? Onions and parsley. Where are we? Onions and parsley. That's our meat. Meat got it. Now we just need our kidney, which is always so dirt cheap. 74p for all that and same size. Yeah, it's all squidgy. Okay, well now, <laughs> tripod's down here, I can't get it back up. Now we need to mix all this yumminess together. Mmm, scoffier. Okay, so that's about it, which worries me. Uh, if I was doing this as me, I'd put some mushrooms in there, in that oxo cube, so some mustard and some more stuff. He's keeping it quite simple, which does scare me, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Okay, so this needs right ramming in. Okay, yeah, looks yummy. Nearly there. We now just need to wrap it up in a tea towel. But I've not got a tea, tea, clean tea, 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 tea towel, clean tea towel. Cling film in together. Done it like that. This, it's gonna rise. This now needs to steam or boil for five hours. I do not have a steamer, but I do have this from when I was into distilling and it turned out hard work and then I gave up and didn't bother. So I've rigged some kind of device up where it's full of water and there's like a bowl in there and I'm gonna put this lad on top. Well you'll see, won't you? I need to cover this with something. Does that fit? Well that fits. <sighs> Elephant or medium for five hours. When time will that be? That clock says half past seven, but it's not half past seven. Um, yeah, back in a bit. Oh, hang on, I've just realised he says put water in it until it covers, but I've sealed it up, so um, I might just be able to poke a little hole in, and then fill it up. Uh, it's actually taking quite a lot of water. Okay, I've kind of covered that up. All this, that probably makes all the difference. That's probably what's going to make our tasty uh, Escoffier gravy, so. Hello, it is now the future. It has been... Um, five or six hours. Pshhh. Thinking of just leaving it to rest for ten minutes, something like that, then I don't get attacked with heat. I don't know if I'm turning it out yet. I don't know if I'm brave enough. Um, yeah. 
I'm gonna turn it out, which I might regret, but there. I'm gonna cry if I drop this. Flop. Good. Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Ray! Look at him! Now, I'm initially a little bit worried with this juice here. Uh, I'm a fan of proper thick gravy and stuff, and I don't think this is going to be thick gravy because there's no flour in it or anything. This is just original steak pie. Mmm, look at that! All kind of folly party and that taste. That, let's get a little bit of that. Let's go. You know what? That's actually nice, I'm surprised. I love the thick gravy and oxo and heavy flavours, but this is nice. It's all, it's quite light, but still very, very tasty. Mmm, that's, oh, it's coffee. Gorgeous. Now, I was even thinking of just making some gravy to pour on top of it, but you know what? It just doesn't need it. Mmm. I'm so surprised how nice this is. Go and give it a go. This was so easy to do and cost pretty much nothing in ingredients because it's all cheap. Um, go, go and have a go. Go and make it. Right, let's get, I'm just going to eat this now. Um, see in a bit. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling. Tossed salads and scrambled eggs. Wait, 